Okay, everybody, this is part of my therapy to get over my fear. <laughs> I have a confession. I love all animals, all animals, mm -hmm. but bugs, they really creep me out. So when we heard that billions of cicadas are gonna be emerging in a rare event this year, oh, I'm so lucky. I've been grossed out ever since. Facing your fears, we're proud of you. But what is really happening? Today we invited Dr. Matula, assistant professor and extension specialist at the University of Tennessee to clear uh, some things up for us. Now, is it really true that we're getting double the amount of cicadas this year? You are right. So uh, cicadas are insects that has the longest development time or they have the longest life cycle. Mm -hmm. So they live like 13 years or 17 years underground as immatures, that means as larval forms. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the double brood that you're talking is like, yeah, it's, it's we are witnessing that both these broods are coming, but Unfortunately, we are not going to see that in Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so in Tennessee, we are going to see the emergence of brood 19, and that is from a 13-year life cycle. 13? Circadias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so, okay. yeah. When? When does this happen? So this happens when the temperature hits around like 67-ish. And yeah, that is the time <laughs> when, yeah, they just come out of their underground and how do they do that? <laughs> so yeah, so they they uh, they kind of like right now they are feeding on the roots of the plants, right. and when they feel that the temperature, their body temperature, or the when the soil temperature actually reaches 67 degree Fahrenheit, when it warms up, it's when they realize okay they have completed their uh, time underground because the majority of life cycle they spend underground as immatures. So that is the time they need to come out and they need to start mating, right? Right. They're, they're <laughs> Yeah. calling out for a mate. Right. That's why they're buzzing. Explain right. that. So the males are the ones that produces that loud noise and it can go up to 90 to 100 decibels. Whoa. And yeah, so they do in order to attract their mates. So the females, uh, whenever she feels that, okay, this is the one, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to snap her wings and that is how the, how that is why they just want to come out. And what does do she do mate. with the wings? So she just snaps. Snap. Oh, uh -huh. like makes the noise? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh -huh. And why do they um, shed basically their skeleton right. or exoskeleton? Correct. So insects, as I mentioned, they are living underground as immatures, right? So insects, they undergo different processes. It's called molting. Mm -hmm. So when they come up, they are still like in the larval stages and they need to shed their uh, nymphal exoskeleton so that they can become like mold into adults. So that is why they leave behind, once they are out from the ground, they leave behind whatever is left <laughs> because they need to become adults. So that is a process, yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. in the process but some good news for Larissa and those also scared of bugs which I'm very proud of you for I holding know. this box right now <laughs> um, it won't last for very long no so the whole thing is going to be like until the female so they made and she needs to lay her eggs somewhere right so she is like looking for places like tree twigs mm -hmm. then she has like a ovipositor that is like a knife like ovipositor mm -hmm. and she uses that to slit twigs so that she can put her eggs in there. So once oh. that is done, it's all going to be lasting for one, one and a half month max. Phew. So, so yeah. you said by July it should be done. Yeah, for. so based on when it's going to emerge, like we still have to understand the temperature situations and yeah. Okay, month oh. and a half. We can yeah. handle I love Thank the noise. You. I can get soothing. It's like meditative. Right. Thank you so much, yeah. doctor. Yeah. It is going to be a wild spring. Thank you so much for taking Thank the time to talk with us. Mark